Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Murder You, and uh, today we're gonna, I'm going to talk about blurry streams, right? Um, I've been around like a streaming since like you know, the end of Mixer, so it's been a good two years and a half uh, since I've been around. And what I've noticed a common thing that still is still happening is, you know, people still have blurry streams, right? <clears throat> it's okay to have a blurry stream where you you know if your upload uh, rate isn't as good, but do you know stream in your i guess what you can do right <laughs> so <clears throat> my thing is you know i was streaming on youtube uh for for three months uh then you know for most of my streaming career has been on twitch and the thing with me for having quality you know at least like stream or at least a clear stream is you know my like i guess idols are on twitch <clears throat> so I hold Twitch to a to higher degree. Um, just me as a viewer, me as a streamer, I, I hold myself to a higher degree because due to the fact that, you know, there's there's awesome people like, uh, you know, Iceman Isaac. Um, you know, the, the my other guy, you know, Coven, I, I watch, uh, he's, you know, he's pretty big. Uh, you know, Player 2, you know, all these all these people, right? Markiplier, you know, uh, they stream on you know, on Twitch, even like, you know, my, my guy Harris Holler, right? Harris Holler, Alpha Gaming, um, you know, even like big platforms like Xbox, you know, all these, <laughs> these streaming uh, entities or, you know, people, uh, even Nick Merckx, right? He's on here. So you got to think about it, right? The, the bar is like up, up pretty up here, you know, not to, to, to discourage anybody, um, but it's really all based off your settings, right? So the thing is, you know, when I'm watching somebody, right, I, I can see when, um, you know, your, your latency is your bit rate isn't good. So an, an example, right? But an example here, right? Um, not, not trying to call, call this person out or anything. Uh, I'll probably just zoom into to the, the bit rate. Um, but I can see, you know, blurry, blurry stream, right? And I see the playback bit rate. Uh, it's not meeting what 1080p 30 is. Um, and a simple thing, with uh you know 1080p i guess like 30 right you gotta know what the bit rates are what twitch actually demands <clears throat> so if we go to you know twitch.tv um whatever call it uh you know encoding like like part that they actually give out so these are these are settings that you should be aware of um so when you're streaming because dude like i don't know for just me personally i hold myself to a certain higher degree because due to the fact that there are people who are bigger than me uh you know if you have a kind of blurry stream people leave i mean me personally i tend to leave because due to the fact that you know maybe someone didn't put enough time into or research into um you know their, their stream um as much as i do right so not not to be like a <laughs> like an asshole about it but that's kind of just how how i flow so if you look at it nvidia and vink and uh specs right it says 1080p 60 you know the max uh that you know, um, Twitch will allow is 6,000, uh, you know, kilobytes per second, which translates to six megabytes per second. So, and that's why you gotta know your, um, your upload speed. So, you know, you always can do a go to speed tests, like, you know, type in speed tests on Google or something. Um, and that's when you can figure it out. So X264 stands for your CPU, right? That's your CPU doing it. Um, it's saying, Hey, you know what? Very fast to medium. Um, and you know if you look go down to 1080p 30 it's saying hey what you know 45,000, so which is 4.5 megabytes per second uh bit rate and so what it's what it wants right if you don't meet this certain ex expectation it's going to be blurry uh i've been you know i'm following this pretty pretty closely and for the most part it's good uh the only thing i have discrepancy with is when it's 1080p 60 um twitch is not really that friendly to it so you know most of the time people can get away with it when you can uh, do 8,000, which is usually more partner. Or um, if you do ignore, like, I think stream, I forget, a recommendation, something like that on OBS. Um, that's what it is. So it will show this, right? Um, you know, 1080p is, is a much higher <laughs> bit rate. Uh, so most people who do usually do 1080p, they do 9, 900p. Uh, which you can get away with that then you know usually this kind of it satisfies it more so the more so you gotta understand like the more resolution you put out the more gpu has to work the more your computer has to work and the more it has to feed into twitch <clears throat> so we look at it you know 720p 
uh, 30 FPS, right? So we're looking at it says, hey, you know what? All it needs is 3,000. So all it needs. So if you give him more than what it needs, then you are going to stress, you know, your your PC or you know, and you're you're in a bandwidth for no additional reason. Um, if we only do a certain amount, right? So that's something you got to keep in mind. You know, another thing I want to add to is uh, when it comes to streaming on Twitch, right? Um, when you you know, basically put more bit rate out there. Um, majority of my viewers are mobile viewers, right? A good chunk of them are. So when you're pushing, say, you know, very high bit rate, that's more download they have to download into their their phone. Uh, sometimes, you know, people are at work, they're watching you or things of sort. Um, and, you know, if your bit rate's too high, people can't watch you. So, and, you know, I know that, you know, Twitch has their encoders, they have their, you know, you know, downscale um, res resolution, but it doesn't necessarily translate as good as say something like YouTube, right? YouTube, what they want you to do is that, you know, you you put out like a 1080p uh, stream with like, you know, 10 megabits per, megabits per second um, upload. What YouTube does is because YouTube's really good about it. Uh, you know, there's no source, uh, you know, view, right? So it would do the, it does all the encoding with, with their side. Um, so if you upload like, stream to 720p to youtube it looks like shit real talk <laughs> so but when you do it on twitch you know you do 720p 30 right the 3000 bit rate it's pretty safe it's pretty easy for a phone to like you know even the cell network to um you know stream right like to watch you um but when when you're when you're pushing a bit more uh, so you do 720p 30 right but you're pushing like 9,000 uh, kilobytes per second that's kind of overkill it really is overkill um, but then you got to factor in that now someone can't watch you because due to the fact they're pushing out too much bit rate so these are things you need to think about as well uh, when you are putting up a stream so so an example right so I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, you know what a blurry screen looks like uh, when you're not meeting what twitch wants to when you're meeting what twitch wants um so i'm gonna go and show it here you know for a few moments um and you're gonna notice you know i just i just do hogwarts um hogwarts isn't really that demanding i mean not demanding but it is demanding it's a very demanding game but it is um you know it is a high fps game though so if you're playing anything that's high fps um then yeah it's gonna have to you know push out that data to go forward right and <laughs> to push into twitch so Anyways, you know, I just want to, as it's a quick segment I want to cover, um, you know, you can go ahead and do that. Um, and of course, I'll go ahead and flip over to, so, you know, where do you see these, uh, these settings, right? Uh, so it's pretty, it's pretty simple. I'm going to have to follow my mouse. So over here, you know, you go in your settings, right? And settings are here. So, you know, you stream, yeah, you're going to stream to, to Twitch, um, and your output is going to be, you know, this right here. So me, you know, I have my canvas is 1080p, um, and you know, what Twitch wants is control bit rate. So you go and do that. Uh, then, you know what, I'm doing 720p 60. I'm doing, Hey, you know what? 4,500. Uh, and you know, all, all Twitch needs is two, two, uh, keyframe intervals. If you do auto it sometimes they might do more. Right. So when you're pushing more than what um, that's needed, then you're gonna, you might overwork your PC as well, especially if you're a single PC user. Um, me, I'm, you know, I'm a dual PC user, so I'm full setting my stuff. But if uh, if you ever watch Epis Fox, right, I'll, I'll link a, a video down below uh, of him testing it. Uh, I believe he said that P5 and P6 you can get away with um, being a single PC user. Uh, I believe he does say that two pass uh, quarter resolution is uh, with what was max quality was uh, prior to the updates. Um, but I'm pretty sure you could probably get away with single pass as well. Uh, I know look ahead. Look ahead is usually good for slower, um, slower, I guess, like, you know, moving games or, or you know, just pretty lower FPS. Um, and it'll look better. Um, but if you do use it for you know higher like FPS type of games, then it's gonna be it's gonna get a little blurry and it's gonna tax your uh, PC a bit more. Uh, Cycle visual tuning, uh, I do leave this on. Uh, you know, it just it just makes things a bit better. It kind of like what does it say? 
enables encoder settings to optimize these a bit rate, increase perceived visual quality. Um, so I, you know, I personally leave it on. Uh, <clears throat> it does make my stream look pretty good, so I leave it on. GPU zero, that's your default GPU. Uh, if you have two GPUs in there, then you need to establish what is your GPU, which, um, you know, simply you just go to like task manager and uh, it'll tell you GPU zero, right? This is my, my GPU. You know, so my stream PC is only 2060. Um, and yeah, max B frames too, because that's all Twitch, you know, asks for. So you meet to, to what, you know, Twitch needs, right? So because we're already taking about, what, 10 to 20 FPS away from the game by using OBS on a single PC, you know? So I've done, I've been on both sides, right? So I'm not talking from just not like, you know, <laughs> from not having experience i've been a single pc user until you know i did my dual pc because when i went over to youtube for three months um uh, i knew that i had to push more bit rate and i had to push higher uh resolution and you know it's, everything comes with a cost right so if you're streaming a certain certain thing your gpu has to do a certain amount of things um then you have to lower down some quality settings <laughs> so i was like you know what i'm gonna do a pc so you know However you, however you stream and things of sort, uh, at least hit the minimum, you know, uh, if you're going to do a low bit rate, then lower your resolution. Uh, I'd rather watch, uh, a 30 frames per second, low bit rate, you know, low resolution, but clear stream, uh, rather than a blurry stream. Like this is me personally. Um, and I'm pretty sure, you know, for you making clips and source too, uh, because you know, us content creators, we tend to make clips, make shorts, right? And if your footage is blurry, doesn't really make a good short does it so you know when we go back and make a clip and make do all these things or you know or whatnot <clears throat> just be aware of it you know be aware of your settings so then you don't have to do you know because because some people do is they do this uh, recording and they do um you know streaming at the same time right which which will give you the best quality not gonna lie it does um but you know these are type of things that you do have to factor in right anyways <clears throat> anyways my name is murder you uh as i want to give you you know give a little quick talk upon uh what you should set your your twitch settings should be um anyways you guys take care you know be kind be humble rewind i'll see you guys next time right peace